Vile Vortus again. I'm still gonna go with the Casuary opening here, just because I'm still testing that stuff. I have a lot more experience with just going for the Snowball one, but I think this might actually be a better path here. I think getting a 6 key early on is very very good here. You can either go Speedola, Klepto or Hercubees or whatever you want to. There are so many good sexes here. Crushmo also actually. Haven't even really considered going for that, but I think you can go for that too if the opponent isn't bringing a lot of lovers. I think I go probably Klepto here. I think Klepto makes the most sense. Can do something like this, I think. Actually, do I want that there? Could also place it here. If I place it here, he can't do any like tricky, not getting hit by the by the double jump stuff. If I put it here, he could hit over here. Put it here, he could hit over here. So I think this is best. Then we just throw a Klepto in here. We're of course not going to be able to kill this if he actually walks up to hit. But we can threaten a kill on the following turn, I think. There might also be some argument to go for something a bit more aggressive here rather than the klepto could maybe go for something like a daisy with a aggressive two key or double one keys to try and swarm the hevo this is a very common player two like counter opener by the way on this map hevo with the one key is very very common although the one key is usually placed here just so you can threaten something in the middle a little bit better of course that wasn't needed here but you can still reach this tile pretty much no matter what. So, but the Hebo is very, very common to put here because it can go either down here or up here, depending on what it need, where it needs to be. And you're also protecting the middle point. Oh, we get a snappy. Interesting. I wonder if he goes aggressive or if he just lets me have this. If it doesn't go aggressive, I think I will pull back to here and take this point, maybe. Yeah, I think that's good. We pull this back here, we place this. Actually, we place it here, I think. But then he might take this, though. Which I don't really want him to. Mm. I think I want to bring a 3 key here also. I kind of want to take this point with my Razor Mouth, but I'm a bit worried that he will just put this down there and then protect with the Hevo here. Maybe I put this here. Then I'm just at risk of getting locked over though. Actually, we put the Cassiary here maybe. He could still aggressively take this and place the Hevo down here, but I think that seems fine. And then I wanted probably a 3 because I kind of want to bring. 2.0 into this. 2.0 is pretty good into turrets on this map, in my opinion. But what do I bring alongside it? Do I just go for slow phobie, maybe? Can either go spot, bow mangles, or the shovel here, depending on whether I want utility, speed, or stats. Probably go stab you over bow mangles, actually. Just because I already have a plan to go for a large mechanical here. Don't really need too many mechanicals. And there are also spas, so Stabby gets a little bit better. I think he should take this with Hevo, to be honest. Is he doing that? No, he's not. I could kill this here, but I don't think that would be worth it. I'm just going to hit it. Because I would lose my castle area if I did that. Actually, I could take it and then block here, maybe. That might be the best play I can do. Like, I, I kill this and then I take with this just to block him in. Could he still kill them? I mean, he could still kill my Casuary then, though. Am I okay with losing my Casuary for a Razor Mouth, is the question? Just to annoy him? If he does that, then my Razor Mouth would live, though. And it would be sitting right next to this. 
Maybe that is worth it. I'm gonna try this, I guess. Because the Hevo can't actually kill the Casuary here since he's a little bit underleveled. And then probably still bring the 2.0. But do I need more power to kill this? Don't think I really need more power than the 2.0. I could also just go for a Sparky or something and straight up just kill this thing. But I think Hevo here is good. Tubo and I know is kind of weird on this map because the damage doesn't really stick enough. He can't actually kill here. Which is why he can't really do this play. Which is kind of unfair. That is the downside of being lower level. I don't think my... What's it called? I don't think my arena rank is actually that low though. You can move it down here, then push it up here, move here and kill the cassowary if he really wants to. But I think he would still lose the Hevo if he did that, because then the race him up would live. There's not really any good options for him here. He also shouldn't have defended like this with the Hevo, I don't think. I think he should have gone up here with it last turn. That would have been better. Would have been harder to respond to on this turn. I still have the jump. I don't know if he's noticed that. But if he hasn't, the game ends here. He has to move the Hebo up here. Or down here. If he stands in jump range of the Casuary, this thing just dies. Straight up. So he can't really do that. Beauty. That's very far back. Gonna move up here and hit this, I think. And we maybe move the Casuary with it up here. This can probably stay there. This has to move up here so it doesn't get hit by the beauty. And then we want to bring something that can fight here, maybe. Could just bring Daisy. To be honest, be annoying. What do I want into this? This is a pretty weird combination of bobies. Could just do this and kill something. Fuck it up. Kind of feeling a shovel angle here, to be honest. One, two, three, four, five. I only want to bring a single one key. Should probably be bad then, maybe. Or is that a bad idea? It's probably better to threaten the poison onto the snappy, maybe. This seems fine. Are they bringing a Moffat here? I feel like that would be the most obvious thing. Moffat works really well with Beauty, by the way. If you have Beauty, don't sleep on that combo for large maps. You bring this with a Moffat and then you just pull enemies in and line up the line of tags. It can be really good. That's a very underrated combination of Bobies. Of course, you don't actually see Beauty that often, but... Like when you do that, there should probably be a Muppet with it a lot of the time. And that would die there, I think. If he moved here with the hero, you he would walk here, jump, push this, double hit, move this up, hit, hit with Klepto and it would be gone. Well, he's still doing it, it seems, or not. They don't want to be doing that. Then they should move all the way up here if they're doing something like that. I 
Also, I think they're trying to line up a long line attack here, which is why I'm just gonna take this. I mean, it would be good to take that either way. Also, don't think I'm supposed to actually poison that. I'm just threatening doing it. This can stay here, or should it just stay on the spa, maybe? Probably fine to have it stay on the spa. I mean, it can still hit everything from here, really, that it needs to be able to hit. So I guess I place this on the spa then. Which six key do I want? Could just go Cerberus here, to be honest. They're playing so slow. And I have a shovel out anyway. Don't think they're gonna be able to deal with that. To be honest. It could get a free hit here, but then I'm just going to heal it, so it's not a big deal. Yeah, that seems like a pretty obvious play here. But, I mean, is he going to move this in also? Or is he moving it up here? Oh, he's moving both of them in. I mean, I'll just hit once here and go heal. I don't really mind this too much. He can have this point if he's giving up on all of the other parts of the map. Also, he's moving these down here. I mean, I'm going to push these down here. I think. Actually, I can't really do that because the hero stays here, right? Oh, maybe now I can do it. Now I wish I had brought a gun, so I just buffed my Klepto. But of course I couldn't quite figure out that he would do this. Then he just wouldn't have done this, probably, so... Wouldn't really matter much. This is still not that bad for me, though. Yeah, now they're down there. Then we get the... We should probably hit this, actually. Can't heal. Do I want to poison that? Sure. Just to get the phobia out of the way. Move this down here just to have it on standby. This could actually go down here and hit, right? How much damage can he really do? Actually, he could kill it if I do that. Probably just keep it around here then. Should I have moved the castle area up here? Maybe I should have. Nah, it would die if I did that. Just keep it here. Can it die there? Yeah, it can. Hmm, maybe I take the castle area down here then. Where it's safe. Is it safe? It's, it's not truly safe, but it's safe enough. It's safe enough that they won't go for it, I think. They don't, yeah, they want to be moving the snappy if they're doing this. They're taking with the cowbell. Because otherwise it just takes splash damage from the klepto. Or maybe not. I mean, that is going to hurt this phobie. And I'm going to recapture with a jumping casuary, I think. Deal even more damage to it. And then just move this in. Like here, maybe. He could actually go here and hit, but I don't think that's even good for them. It's better for them to actually have something healing. They're moving in with both of them. Fair enough. Can I kill that? Wait. Is that dead right here? If I want to. 
think it might be dead. Let me just test this. It looks very dead. Then we just Cerberus this thing. He cannot kill that. That is basically a dead thing. Do I just bring my own? Just seal the game with this? That should be game over. I mean, this was pretty unfair, to be honest. They didn't really have much of a chance here. I'm not killing that either. I mean, no, they. I don't think there's any way for them to actually kill it now that I look at it. That foul is not gonna do anything here because my shovel is up. So if he ever diseases the Cerberus, this just straight up dies. That's why foul is kind of bad. Of course, not into Cerberus normally, but foul is a bad phobia still. I don't think I hit this either with this. Maybe I just move up here. Certainly want to do this, I'm pretty sure. Question is just whether I move the Cerberus up here. It would probably go where the Stabby is right now, and the Stabby would go heal. That seems fine to me to do. Then the Klepto can go down here. We can keep this like here. Hit with this there. Bring out one key of some form. I guess it's probably correct to throw a boom in here, maybe. Ah, that would just die to the hero, actually. Let's just throw a random one key. So that we can retake this point. Not that it matters now. They are definitely just... Like... Not getting to play this game because of levels in this case. I mean, they also made some decisions that weren't that good. They should have taken this on that one turn, for example. But, and Foul is a bad counter, but they probably don't have anything else. Like, this doesn't actually counter something like a Cerberus. Foul doesn't counter very much. Not a very good phobie. In most cases, of course. Sometimes this can be fine. But it's mostly fine on... Some specific large maps as a fairly early phobia, in my opinion. That's like the only place where I've seen it do well. That is a very rare case. This is one of the stress level phobies that they honestly should be buffing, in my opinion. Like, this phobia is pretty damn bad. I think it could have like 200 health more, maybe some more damage on the funky chicken. Also, I should have played, placed the shovel here, but it doesn't really matter here. To be honest, 
but it should have probably been here so that it could have pushed the klepto also instead of only being able to push one thing this isn't enough right no guess i'll just do this then And then this just dies, right? Yeah, it does. And so does that. Rip. The Cerberus didn't really get to do much here, but... Still a pretty funny use to unit to use with the with the shovel. That was what shovel was made for, obviously. It's just that abusing it with AoE phobies is often better, or with like powerful abilities. As opposed to just using it with slow phobies. It's of course still usable with the slow phobies like it was made to be. But it's a lot more scary scary with like Klepto or Hero 3.0. Than it is with something like a Cerberus, to be honest. I'm placing this down here so I can't even kill it, which is a little bit annoying. But whatever. Because it takes a turn more to end the game then. But that did next turn anyway. Just from the Cerberus. This phobia, if it ever gets to another player's heart, it just ends the game in like one turn. Or two sometimes, if they have a lot of hell. But often at that point in the game they don't have very much hell. Because players take damage throughout the game obviously. Let me just check which rank am I in in arena. I'm only 301. I guess that explains why I'm still facing some on the level players. So I feel like that guy was like level 60 or something. Yeah, level 60. Let's do another one there because that felt kind of unfair. For obvious reasons it was unfair. Hopefully they are a little bit closer in level here. Yep, that is a lot more like me. That's actually around my level, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's one level below. What do I usually do into this? This is a very common opening. I feel like I had something I did into it. Wasn't there a way where you could... There was some way where you could prevent them from taking any points here, but I can't remember what it was. Hmm... Well, that's annoying. Guess I'll just go casuary. With the one key up here. It's fine. Or maybe that was another map? I can't remember. I feel like there was something specific you do as player 2 into the corn plus 1 key. 6? Are they just going for a tractor this early? Guess I'll do this to threaten that a little bit. Do I want to move this back? Probably not. But do I? If I do that, they're probably going to take it. But maybe that's not even bad for me. And just do this right. 
What if they move here then? No, then I have to keep this here. Just so I can kill if they go in. And they could move this up here. I guess I'll have to... I can't put that there. Right? Or can I? Oh wait, I can, can't I? Yeah, that's only 57. And this has 62. So I can't actually sit there. Which is a lot better, because then you can't go up here and go aggressive or anything. Not that I think they would do that anyway, but it's better to be covered. Wonder which six key they are using here. Has to be something more aggressive if they're going for that. Yeah, <laughs> that is unfortunate. They just barely can't kill it. Because of the level here, by the way. That is the one level doing the difference there. Because I believe Casuary is 650, and at level 1, this would be 660. So the one level is actually doing the big difference there. I could just go kill this, actually. Just get an AoE in. Seems fine to me. Can they do anything horrible to me here? If they move out to kill this, then they can't kill that, right? They would move here and here. Then I just have to bring something aggressive alongside this. Like a... Actually, I can bring an electric cat to threaten that thing. And then what more do I want? Do I just want another one key and then bank one? Probably. Uh, should we do a cowbell or contortio? Probably contortio. Just because I want extra attack power. So this way they can't go kill the cassowary. Like they can't move here and here. Because then I would kill their inoculus. They probably still can. If they like bring a boomer and something. But then I'm just going to be killing their other phobies. And they're not really doing that well anyway. But they're actually doing it here. Are they just placing a boomer or something there? I'm guessing so. Maybe they... I mean, they have some more keys. They could go like Quagmire or something. Yeah, I guess it's a Quagmire. That's interesting. Because it's going right into the attack zone of this. These two together. Which is 1800 damage directly. So that's a lot of damage to take, obviously. And I could also kill their... Their corn still, if I really want to. And then do some damage to something else. I wonder what I would actually do into the Quagmire here. Because I can't quite kill it. I would probably just be killing their corn and then doing a lot to Inoculus. Or maybe I would kill the corn and go for the Quagmire. That is definitely way worse than the Quagmire, by the way. That is a very, very bad choice in comparison. Quagmire was much better here. In my opinion, at least. Yeah, because that thing just straight up dies without any problems for me. That is very good to kill for free, I think. 538 on that. Can we kill that next turn with this? Yeah, we can. I should probably still be bringing full power here. What is full power? Is it just a daisy over here? Or can he kill that? Yeah, he would be able to kill that, so we can't go daisy, I don't think. That would just die, unfortunately. We could go Grimes and try for a kill. Grimes is actually pretty fun on this map. I think I'll try Grimes. Place it here just to be a bit more safe. If you did get just one kill with a Grimes, that is very, very good for you. Of course, assuming you can get out and everything. But like, if you get to take one free kill, then the Grimes is an insanely strong unit. Because it threatens to just take over the game. I wonder if there was a better... I mean, I could have put Daisy here also. That might have been better. But I wonder if there was another choice than those two here. Maybe Primate? Which other... There aren't really that many ranged two-movement bobies to choose from here. 
from the four keys. I could have also brought a three key, but I wanted, so that wanted as much power as possible, like I said before. Clubster was also pretty interesting, but I don't think it's enough power, right? Yeah, it's not quite enough power. If my Clubster was a bit higher level, it might have been good there to just straight up force the kill onto that. But it's a little bit lower level. I think they quit here, by the way. They probably got tilted, but that thing just straight up died like that. Which is understandable. That is pretty annoying to have happened. Probably better to go for either Daisy or Primate, actually. Daisy is probably the better one, but... I don't really like Daisy during the earlier stages or during, like, early mid game or whatever you want to call this part of the game, where you're a couple turns in, but it's not quite over yet. I mean, it's over now because they aren't here, but... Like... This state of the game, I don't know what it's normally called, actually. Because there's like early, mid and late game and an end game, obviously. But there should also be like something in between early game and mid game, maybe. But, nah. I don't want to bring Daisy too early, it's essentially just what I'm trying to say. Because that often ends up pretty badly. You want to bring it like during the end of the mid game or the start of late game where they can't really bring too many small phobies to get to it and also like if they have slow phobies it gets better and stuff daisy is pretty good though it's almost really really good but not quite Obviously I'm doing another one here again because the first one was underleveled and the second one just quit upon figuring out that they made a mistake. At least that is, that's what I think happened. It may also just have been a gameplay thing or something. You know, like the game could have like kicked them out or something. But that felt like they quit because they lost their 4 key for free. This is a map where I think going snowball turn one is actually good. Which is something I'm trying to get away from because most of the time having snowball as a bolt sniper is very, 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 very good. But on this specific map, I think it's fine to just go snowball turn one. And by fine, I mean better. I think it's better than any other option, really. Except if you have werewolf, maybe. Werewolf is always like another option to the snowball, pretty much. There are some maps where I really wish I had Werewolf for, because I think it's, on some maps it, it's like vastly better than Snowball as an opener, and it also just gives you a second choice for openers. Creep is too slow here by the way. Unless you destroy this obstacle and then put the creep here so that you can protect this point. Now I'm just going to take this, I think. Then bring maybe a Hevo or something. The early stabby here is also not that great in my opinion. For them. It's a bit too slow. I'm just gonna put it up here, I guess. Then throw a Hevo in here because it's good into that. And it kind of prevents them from going here with a stabby. Unless they want to take a free hit, hit from the Hevo. Which you often don't want to do. Hevo is just such a fantastic unit for large maps. 
But I guess they're just taking a free hit here. Maybe they plan for some like tank plus hero strategy. That might be what they're doing here. Electro cap behind here wouldn't really make that much sense. Because I don't plan on staying here with the hero. I don't even know if I should be hitting actually. Maybe I should just move up here. I should probably just take the free hit, but. Maybe place it here actually so that I can go down here and shoot. They're focusing way too much on this point down here. That's not something you really wanted to be doing on this map, in my opinion. Wonder, could I ever just kill that? Like, what if I just do this right here? 5, 10, 15, 20. I would lose my hero if I did that. I'm not doing that. I think I'm just doing the one free hit here. Then we can actually bring a Noxious. Noxious is, is extremely good into all of the things here. Maybe I should have moved up here with the hero. If I just put it here, I can kill the creep. That's actually... I like that more. Just putting it up here. Because they can't really hit it with anything. Other than the creeps poison, but that doesn't really matter. And it is pretty easy for me to kill the creep if it goes over here then. Noxious is really good here because if you look at their phobies, this is a little bit vulnerable to it to it because it just dies in two turns and you don't really want to use poison or you don't want to cure the poison on a one key. This obviously can't be cured, so it's bad to poison. This would need to be cured since it's a dimensional and it's fairly slow, so it would need to go back here to be cured. And this insta dies to the AoE. So Noxious is very good into a lineup like that. In my opinion, at least. I mean, Noxious is good into very many things, but especially something like that. I'm just killing that, then, if they're doing this, for sure. Boom, up there. Hmm. Do I have to place my... I think I have to place my Hevo in the way here, which is pretty weird. Of this, or maybe I just straight up kill that. That feels weird to do too, though, because then you can speed all up, up there. Want to kill this. I think I have to bring a spot, maybe. Or I could bring Jar, but I like spot more. Because I want higher power. In this case. Also think I'm bringing a cat here. And maybe even another one key. Do a poison to this. Up here. Now, do I actually kill the creep is the question. If I do, I have to do something like with this. And then place the Hevo here and live with this dying. Don't like that. I think I'm just poking it for free. I don't think I can really go for this either. I think that would end up bad for me. We want this over here where it can't be hit. This can go here, I think. He could poison this, but that's not a big deal if he does that. I can't really go for a kill on this by like placing the Hevo here and hitting. Because then this moves here and hits, this gets buffed and it hits, and this moves two in. And then my Hevo is kind of trapped. So I'm forced to just do the free hit here. Which is still fine, but... Also, I completely filled out my board with one keys here. This is often a bad habit of mine. But I think it's fine here, because I'm just going to straight up run at him soon. As in, like, this turn. I'm probably just gonna straight up fight him. I have to kill the boom, though. 
is the only problem here. Yeah, there's the red speedola or the blue speedola to buff the red speedola. You could go all the way up here. That's a fairly likely thing to do. Put it here, maybe. And the Noxious obviously isn't as heavy into these guys. But I mean, this still looks okay for me, I think. Could kill these two. Hit this once. Could also kill the Stabby, but then I get AoE'd, which I don't really like the idea of. Is getting AoE that bad? It's kind of bad, yeah. I think I'll just do this. Let the snowball die. Throw away this one key. Bring this one in here. Does it die to that? No, it does not. Bring the spot out here. Can go up here now. Uh, I think I poisoned this also. We can always just go back if we need to. So that should be fine. Now they have a lot of stuff they need to deal with here. Because this actually still needs to be hit a little bit. And then they have to move the... What's it called? The red speedola up here to kill that. So that means they can't kill this. And then they will get poisoned and this can move up and hit also and be annoying. This just makes everything kind of annoying for them. I like have too many things they need to hit because they brought so many one keys and they brought larger phobies. Maybe it was better to keep the spot here. I don't know. Also, I don't think destroying that does anything for them. Like, at all. Here. Mm, not quite enough damage to kill now, unfortunately. I think it's a little bit off. It's like 30 damage off or something. I'm pretty sure this is like 30 damage off, right? Maybe slightly more. Oh, that was completely incorrect. Yeah, it's like, it's not even 30, it's like 20, right? Yeah, 22. That's fine though, we will just not focus that. We'll do this instead then. And just move out of here. This can stay there, because it can't die there. This can just hit this once, I think. Move back. Then we move our spot up here. Move the... Actually, should I kill that? No, it dies on its own. It's fine. Just gonna protect my other phobies instead. It's more important. He could kill this, move this here, and move this here to kill the... the cat. But I think that's not really that likely to happen. Kind of want something very fast here. Where is Mr. Trambles? There he is. Do this. Let me move this up. Actually, we move this back somewhere. Here, I guess. I want Trambles in here. Just to have another fast phobie. We can bring Shovel also. This should probably be somewhere else. Don't know where though. It's not really any spot for it to stand on here. Because all of the st like spots up here are filled out.
they have to be careful here because if I kill either of the speed or less, they probably lose the game. At least very likely. Those two should probably be swapped if they could. I don't remember where the Jin's thing was. But I'm going to be hitting this for free here, I think. Really? Some bony, huh? I don't think I've seen this phobia in like half a year or something like that. That is a very rare sight. Mm. Oh, we would need to hit it with that. I guess I'll do this, maybe. This makes them want to go in on the spot here, but I think that would be good for me. So I'm perfectly fine with that. I think I have to do this, unfortunately. And then do we take with the shovel or do we put it here? I think I take here with the shovel. And then we bring another 5 key in as to Quagmire. Because it can go onto the lava so we are in here faster. Or is there a better option? There's probably a better option actually. I think I should go Daisy maybe. Daisy or Jin's thing. I'm just gonna go Daisy because I want to play Daisy. Not because it's necessarily better here. I can go here with this maybe. Right? Or, or no, that risks it dying if I do that. Can't do that. Having it sit here is just important because if they kill the spot, I want to be able to bull rush them. The spot is very much being protected by this right now because I can rush in and do a double hit with it if they kill this. Really? That's pretty aggressive. They have to hit this, right? Yeah, they do. But that's still very aggressive. Do they move in with this too? I feel like they can't do that. But maybe they can. Okay, they're moving down there. That makes a little bit more sense. But they're still gonna lose their uh, speed all up here. Very easily. Also, I wonder if I should try and force the push on this into the Jin's thing, whether placing something here and then pushing it into my lava. That might be correct. Should definitely be killing this red speedola, I think. That much is pretty much for certain here. One, two, three, four, five. So I can summon two phobies here. It will probably be a one key and a five key. Maybe a two key and a four key. Are there any fives left that I want? Could go for the Quagmire still. If I go for the Quagmire, that's actually pretty good here because I want to place it there on the lava. So that kind of works out. I think I still have to place something there, right? Yeah, I do. If this even works, I think this should work, but I am actually not 100% certain. Yeah, it does work. Then we just murder this thing. 600 and something. Oh, I have to use this to kill it? Hmm. Whatever. This is still pretty good for me. And then we just murder this thing, right? Oh, I can't murder that if I do that. Maybe I shouldn't do this then. I should just do the normal bull rush plan here. Kill this thing. It's actually AoE, maybe? Or do I AoE that? I probably AoE the Jin's thing. Just to poison it here. Oh wait, no, they have a healer. Of course I don't do that. That wouldn't make any sense to do. We're just killing instead. 
move this up here to have another thread somewhere. And do the quagmire again, I guess. And then we can bring Rusty just to the night that lock completely. If we need to. Then the lob is basically nullified. We can just kill it with anything here. They're obviously killing this, but that was to be expected. So I don't really feel anything from losing that. They can't kill this though, so it doesn't really matter. I mean, I'm pretty sure this game is just straight up over. They can't kill both the um, Mr. Trembles and the Daisy, which means that the Jin's thing is always dead here. Like, this is going to die no matter what he does. And if he does this, he just damages this thing also. So that's not even good for him. He could also just kill the Speedola instead. That might be better. And I don't care about the poison here. Poison is completely irrelevant. Could also kill this thing by just pushing this up here, but I don't think that's correct. Maybe I just lock this down here right now. I probably should be locking that down there. Which one is scarier? Probably the Jinsting, right? Pretty sure the Jinsting is scarier. By a large margin, to be honest. I'll do this. Or I should make sure to always attack with Onda first. Then we just kill this thing. We stop this from ever working. Move up here with this, I guess. You can't actually kill that. You can't kill this. You can't kill that. Yeah, that seems pretty game over. You can't kill anything now. And I have a lot of threats left. Plus I can poison this even if I want to and on the next turn. And it's still gonna be sitting there. Not enough. <laughs> oh no, I'm going to die. I love it when people just put a one key on your heart. Because they don't do any damage, really. I mean, they do do some damage, but like... This isn't gonna endanger me or anything. Of course, this is probably just them realizing the game is over because this can't move. And they brought a shovel for it also. Both of these are probably dead, I think. Maybe not both of them, actually. I can certainly kill this, though. This thing is maybe alive by a small amount of health. Let's see. Yeah, it's definitely alive by a small amount, right? Because I can't kill that in just one hit. That's still good enough to keep my hero alive. Rest is such an insane counter to Blob now. Like, this thing just doesn't do anything. Blob and Werewolf, it's very good into it. It's better into Blob than it is to Werewolf. Because Werewolf is actually mobile enough to move around it. 
But Rusty is just very good in general now. It's good into into like all slow phobies. Every time you see a, like a large slow moving phobie that can't really dodge this, you just use Rusty. Same thing if you are very early on and you have problems against Cerberus. Just use this phobie if you have it. I get pretty much just nullifies those phobies completely. Could just take there, but I think I'm actually just going to do this. If he moves there with the love, it just dies, so it's fine. Blob is still a very good Bobby, of course. Like, this is very, very powerful, but it having one more counter is still pretty dangerous for it. It, of course, actually got better with the update rather than worse. Oh, he's just killing that. That's fine. But it actually got a lot better due to the update in which they um, in which they buffed the Rusty because it got so much support from stuff like Le Shovel and Phantom. Those phobies are just incredible with Blob. Actually, I shouldn't hit with that first. I should hit with the other third first. So I want to hit this too if there is excess damage. Don't know if there is though. Nope. So just straight up hit this with everything. It's fine. I mean, the game is still over. Just wanted to see if I could end it even faster. Glob was definitely too slow there, by the way. Like, don't know why they went for that, to be honest. It's way too far into the game for that. On a very large map. Like, this is a map that requires a lot of mobility. If you're going for slow phobies here, it should be a turret to put right here. Or here, like they did in the beginning. That is the only, like, place for a slow phobie in this, on this map most of the time. And then maybe like the long range ones, of course, but those are kind of in a different category. <laughs> 